In this video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger sound alerts with channel points. My name is Tree, and I make streaming support videos. Seems smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 pm Central European time, on twitch.tv slash tree. I also have a Discord server. If you have any questions about streaming, just hop in and ask them. So for this to work, we need to download two things. One, a WebSocket, and two, Leorum board. So to make it easy for you, I left them down in the description below. Go to the WebSocket first and download it. Go to download. Then we scroll down. Ah! I look like an angel like this, it's so bright. Uh, and then click on installer here. Click on it and make sure to run the executable after downloading it. Second thing we want to do is go to the Ormboard's website and then go click on go and download. It will automatically start downloading for you. And what you need to do then is unzip the folder and make sure that you leave the content of the folder somewhere where you can find it back. So this is the content of the Ormboard. Let's go to OBS and then make sure to add a browser source. So click here, browser source. Call on transmitter, enter. I click on local file here and then click on browse and then click on this transmitter here. It's in the folder where you have Leon Borden and then click on OK. We can make this unvisible because we do not have to use this at all. Just make sure that it's in an active scene collection. Now what we do is click on Leon Board receiver and then click on the executable and run it. It will start up later on board. For you, it will probably look like this, as you haven't done it before. Here you want to fill in your WebSocket. It's probably already right, but to check this, we can go to OBS and then click on Tools, WebSocket Server Settings, and if it's 4444, then you're good. Otherwise, you need to put this in your Leorum board. If you can't find this, you haven't installed the WebSocket correctly, so make sure to do that again. Now we want to auto-connect to OBS and Twitch here, so make sure those are ticked, and then accept. Connect to OBS, just click that, it should automatically connect to your OBS and then link your Twitch. You just want to authorize your Twitch there and then here connect to Twitch. You need to make sure that that transmitter is an active scene collection to be able to let this work. Just click on these, if they're grayed out, you're good to go. Then we want to make a new deck by clicking there. I already have one, so I'm just going to open this one. Like you see, I've already done some things in here, but we're going to add some more because I want some sound effects. For this, we need to add the sound effects to OBS first. What I recommend you do is make a separate scene with all the sound effects because that's a lot easier to find them back. Add new scene, call it... Horror sounds. I added my microphone real quick because otherwise you guys can't hear me anymore. <laughs> so, okay, we lock this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add media source. So for me, I downloaded a couple things of Epidemic Sound, but for you, you need to make sure to have a folder with all your music or all your sound effects that people can trigger with the channel point ready to go. So knocking door we have here. So I'm just gonna call this one um, knocking door. Okay, and we're gonna load that file. Um, let's see, where is it? Locking door. Okay. Press okay. That was probably really loud for you guys. Sorry for that. Um, we're gonna add more. So we're just gonna add another source. Um, what is the second, the, the, the one after called? Uh, werewolf. Okay, we're gonna add the werewolf one. Oh, that was the sound. Uh, we're going to add another one. You can just add as many as you want here. So just choose what you want. I've added them all now. I'm going to delete my microphone because there's, you don't want your microphone in this scene. So now we're back in our game scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a scene. And this is going to be the scene you just made. So for me, it was called horror sounds. But this is called like you call it your scene. Horror sounds. Okay, I'm gonna lock this. I'm gonna probably drag it down because we don't need it at the top because it's just only audio. And we can even put it in a folder. So for me, I put it in my audio folder, which means that it's also in my full screen screen. Full screen screen? <laughs> but it's also in my other scenes if I do it like this and I don't have to like edit everywhere. But you need to make sure that this scene is added to all the scenes you want the sound effects to happen in. So we have the sound effects here. And what we want to do now is just click on one of these cock wheels and go to advanced properties. We're searching knocking doors, screaming male, screaming female, and we want to set them all on monitor only. Okay, I think we got this. 
This means that now your stream cannot hear the alerts but you hear them through your headphones. Uh, what you need to make sure of is that you have your desktop sound being recorded. If you record your desktop sound, then everybody can hear what you're hearing through your headphones and you will be fine. They hear the feedback through your headphones. Make sure that this uh, horror sounds is on and you want to also make sure that all the horror sounds are off. Okay, so I turn all the horror sounds off, but after making sure that they're all on monitor only. Now we're gonna go to the on board and we're gonna make some buttons. So create a blank button, call it door, 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 knock. I cannot type, but this is all right. <laughs> so we have that here and we're going to add a command for it. And we want to do um, source, source visibility. And they are in the horror sounds, horror sounds scene that's the one here on the left and then the item is a knocking door and that needs to be untrue after this is done playing we want to have it turn off because then we can trigger it again what we need to do is we can copy this um copy and then paste it here and I set it on false but now it instantly goes to out but we want to like let it play first because you're gonna check how long uh, the sound takes so for me um, I'm gonna like add that here, length, more, find length, length, there we go. And now the, the knocking door is one second. So if I set it on two seconds, we should be good. So now after two seconds, it's being turned off and we can trigger it again. And then we click, click on done. Now what we need to do is we need to also have a channel point reward. So we go to our creator dashboard and then here on the left, click on community and then channel points. Click on manage reward and challenges and we can add a command here. I already added these commands just to make it easy. So I have them in here already. They should be here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this was a door knock. So I'm going to find that door knock and we're going to copy the exact name. We need to have the exact name exactly right. Otherwise it doesn't work. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make sure to turn it on as well. And we're going to go back to Leon board, right click at Twitch trigger. And then we need to add point redeem and paste the exact title of the point um, redeem the channel pointing, the channel pointing, the channel point reward. That's it. And then done. Now this should work. If somebody redeems it, it should work. So what we do is we click on done and we're going to test it. Why not? Why not test things? Door knock. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> that's good. It, it worked. So now we need to set that up for all the other ones as well, but that's basically the same as this one. So I'm going to like grab the werewolf here, copy this exact thing, turn it on, to the yarn board, go back in here, make a new button, create blank one, call it the werewolf, make it bigger because you know, it's so small. If your grid looks different, by the way, you can change the grid here. And then uh, add command source visibility of horror scene. And it was the werewolf and that needs to be true. And then we need, well, it's easier to copy this. <laughs> Let's copy it instead of like actually doing it again. Copy and then paste here. And then this needs to be false. We're going to check how long the actual alert should be. Uh, werewolf, where is that one? That's the second one. It's one second. So we're going to make it two second seconds just because then we 100% sure it works, right? And then done at a Twitch trigger plus point redeem and then paste the exact name again and then done. And then if we click done and I'm going to test it. That worked. <laughs> okay, so this works and you can do this with as many sound effects as you want. Little note though, this doesn't work with Streamlabs OBS. Sorry for people that use that. And you need to make sure that you have your lean board open like this on the main menu for everything to work. So if you're in one of these things, it doesn't work. So click on done before actually using it. If things get too spammy, you can always change your channel points. As long as you don't change the title of it, you can just change the, the text around it, you, the channel points, you can set limiters and stuff like that. It's all fine as long as you don't change the name of it. If you want to learn more cool things that you can do with channel points, hop into this playlist and I will see you there.